Welcome to Skagen and you can get a bike right outside the ship. You can hire it for 10 euros a day. You certainly wouldn't be on your own if you decided to hire a bike and it's very easy. There are organized bike lanes and the roads are very straight and the maps are easy to follow. The shuttle bus stops just behind here so it's really close, really easy. The marina is buzzing and there's a music festival on and there's a Danish band but they're singing Irish songs with Irish accents. If you don't want to walk to Grenon, the central bus and train station is at the end of the high street and you can get the bus there for a few krona. I've only walked for about 15 minutes and I'm already out of town and it's just one straight road and I'm about to pass the White Lighthouse, which is Denmark's oldest lighthouse, built in 1747. We've definitely done our steps today. That's the Britannia over there, and we've walked all this way. Skegon Grey Lighthouse was built in 1858, and you can walk the 210 steps to the top to get spectacular views over the bay. It's also a centre for migratory birds. Your entrance ticket for the lighthouse also includes entrance to the Museum for Migratory Birds, and there's a laboratory. There's lots of work done here, and there's a cafe and it's a great toilet stop. Brennan is at the northernmost peak of Denmark and it's three kilometers to get here and they say the trail to the tip is another three kilometers, but you can get a sand bus. You have to pay in local money, but there's a cash machine in the art gallery. In World War II, this was a strategic military position and you can see the bunkers left over and the gun positions. <laughs> so we've come out by the sandworm to the very tip and I've literally got one foot in the Scatterat and one in the Kattegat Sea. And it's very cold. So this is the tip that everyone comes to where the two seas meet. But just remember, it's about three kilometers to get to Grenon and then another three kilometer round trip. You can walk or you can come on the sandworm.